In the previous lesson, we talked about ionic bonding, and ionic bonding is a type of bonding that takes place between metal and nonmetal. So today we start with the type of bonding here, which is a new type that holds the atoms which are nonmetal with nonmetal. So let's start with them here. Mr. Trangus, how are you? So let's start with taking this beautiful molecule, which is methane. It consists of hydrogen and carbon. Both of hydrogen and carbon are nonmetals, so how would they bond to each other? So let's draw the outer shell of carbon. Carbon has four electrons only in its outer shell. Hydrogen atoms here have one electron in their shell, only one electron. But here, if you look to these atoms here for carbon and hydrogens, they are not stable because the outer shell is not filled with electrons, so they are not stable and they are not happy. And actually, if we want to make a ionic bonding here, there is no sort of giving electrons. So what do you do in this case? New idea has been done, which is sharing, sharing of electrons, both of hydrogen atom here will share its electron with carbon, same for this hydrogen, and hydrogen, and hydrogen here, with carbon. So how this will be? Here we have carbon. It has four electrons. Okay? It will share its electrons with hydrogen atoms. So, here we have a stable compound. Is it right? So let's count the number of electrons around carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight electrons around carbon, which is happy, and it is a stable outer shell. What about hydrogen? You know, hydrogen has only one electron, and we know the capacity of the first shell of any atom in the world is two electrons. So in hydrogen has two electrons, this hydrogen has two electrons, two electrons, two electrons. So this compound is stable, and here everybody's happy. Here you have to notice something each two electrons form one bond so here we have a bond and we have a bond and here we have a bond and we have a bond so here we have four single covalent bonds how to draw the diagram of covalent bonding of carbon dioxide molecule first we start drawing its outer shell of electrons here we have carbon which has four electrons both of oxygen atoms have six electrons in their outer shell and as we see all of the atoms here are not stable and they're not happy and they're so sad. So we just notice, is there a possibility to make ionic bond? Actually there is no possibility because we have carbon and oxygen and all of these atoms here are non-metal. So I just remember something, what is the type of bonding that tells the atoms when they're non-metal together? Here we have a covalent bonding. Here we have covalent bonding. So we start drawing carbon and we just draw the oxygen. Here I didn't do anything. I didn't put anything inside this area. So let's just start say like we just want to show one electron of carbon here and one electron of carbon here and one electron of oxygen here and one electron of oxygen here. Okay. Here we have two electrons and two electrons. Okay, let's see. Is this atom stable? Here we have six electrons around carbon, which is not stable. What about oxygen? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven electrons and it's around it. So it's not a good idea here. All of atoms here are not stable. So is there another choice? Yeah, there is. So we want to share more electrons. So here we want to share another electron of oxygen and two electrons of carbon and another electron of this car of this oxygen. So here after sharing electrons, oxygen contributes by two electrons in this area, carbon contributes four electrons, oxygen contributes two electrons. So we have a sharing a process which helps them to become a stable outer shell. So let's count the number of electrons around uh, oxygen atom here we start counting from here one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight electrons around oxygen 
what about carbon it has four electrons here and four electrons here so the overall is eight electrons which is so happy and same for this oxygen according to the number of electrons or shared electrons in this area it tells me something that we have double covalent bond because we have four shared electrons each two electrons form one bond so here carbon dioxide is a stable compound and it's held by a covalent bond okay guys thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below or send me a message have a nice day